now to uh, to get the tension up and going, we're throwing in a challenging AI cast as well. So it's PvP, PvP, PvE, right? And uh, uh, say that again. PvP, PvP, PvE. Something like <laughs> that. Be, oh, no, I'm sure if I made it. No, you're good. With that, one. that was good. That was good. So, hey, you, see, you sounded professional. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> basically, uh, the point of our game, the stick in the ground, is high tension here, right? Right, sure. Uh, and we have a very much like a high risk, high reward gameplay. So uh, this is a match based game, right? So before you go in, you gear up, you bring your cool as shit, as cool as you can. It's going to help you in the battlefield. Uh, on the other hand, if you die, you lose all that stuff and, you, and your life as well. This is permadeath game, right? Yeah. Permadeath, okay. Yeah, okay. so basically we want to borrow a lot of stuff from survival games where those really, really intense PvP moments happen, where you don't know if you should attack or not. Like, should I go there, should I not go there, what should I do, da, 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 da. And uh, your life depends on it, right? You're gambling with your life. We need to get across the idea that there's a fear of loss going on with this as well. If you don't fear loss, if you don't have something to lose, yeah. then, right. you know, that risk just disappears. Yeah. Well, right. That's what I'm saying. When you say you gear up, how do you gear up? Uh, this is in the beginning of the game, in the beginning of the match. You see a tactical map, you see what monsters are going to do, and then you're gearing up accordingly what you think is going to be worth it, right? Uh, are you gearing up within the game or before you enter the game? Before you enter the game. Okay, okay, okay nice. All right. And then the match itself is divided into uh, three uh, sections, basically. This is the tracking your target thing. So you have a detective mode, which can see dark energy. Okay. Right, so that helps you, because I don't want to see any hot elements. The game should speak to us, right? Right. By itself. Nice. Now, here's the um, uh, a p a typical encounter for AI encounters here, right? Uh, they are really there to challenge you to use your gear differently. Uh, okay, so obviously here right now I'm going to use a flare. I want to see a little bit more what's going on. It reveals more more stuff. On the other hand, all the other teams out there might see that flare, right? Right, right. Yeah. Good. So and now we ended up in a bit of a combat situation. This, this encounter didn't go so well for us actually when we played it. You'll see here it's like a bunch of bad players playing badly, right? <laughs> okay. We go in there, we try to do a cool yeah. thing, so and yeah. it turned it around on us, and we had to retreat. Better it. run than fight poorly, man. Yeah. yeah well, and permadeath. I mean, that gives you something to lose. Yeah. For sure. And in, so the whole point with this game with the AI is to. We want to create the unknown here and always make you guess what's around the corner here, right? Like, uh, is it a player? Is it an AI? What could it be? Uh, and, oh, okay, I'm missing it. So this is the, the detector mode. I'm, I'm spotting like dark energy in the world. It helps me to guide around. If I get there, I can connect kind of like uh, I have some superpowers to, to connect with the boss. Uh -huh. And that's going to narrow down his location, right? Is that, is that what creates the dark energy that you see is the... Yeah, uh, there's like a detector mode. I have a bit of hell inside of me. I have a skill, right? So when I when I use this one, I can see I can see a little bit of the underworld, right? Oh. oh okay. So this here, right there, right? I can see that there's something going on in that house, but I don't know necessarily. Sure. What, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So there's some there's some danger in there. There's something there. There's a, there's a clue we want to get to. Okay. Okay. If we interact with it, we, we, we make a temporarily uh, connection with the boss, and in this time we can see through his eyes right and try to narrow down his location yeah and at the same time obviously we've got you know there's a bunch of other players all trying to do the same thing They're yeah trying to find these are like mag yeah. You know. yeah these are like magnets for other players other players are searching for the same thing oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. good so if you don't play carefully and watch out here and do some teamwork you might be in shit oh so this this is like the goal yeah ah, so th this is the first clue to the boss right okay so as you see now oh. i'm gonna make a connection to the pit of hell. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, obviously, I'm seeing into I'm seeing the target's eyes, right? We've actually had situations where players have done this, and we've seen other teams fight about fighting. to get Oh, right. dude, I just figured out what that was. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. It's an arachnid. Yeah. You yeah. might see him a little bit more later. And, uh, yeah. and, we don't and this to. is also like, so we're jumping a bit here, right? So we took the third clue here. Okay. And and, and in classic survival game scenario, right? You have already spent some ammo. You yep. want to go maybe to a supply point, right? Yeah. But as always, the shit is uh, in the shitty spot. So it's, mm. again, high risk, high reward gameplay. Should I go there or not? Because people might snipe me as I go there, right? Yeah. Right, so you're not just you're not just searching for for the beast, the monsters and stuff uh, like that. You're gearing up you're to your advantage, right? Yeah, but you're defending against other players. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. For ca so uh, in this case, uh, I uh, send in my body first, right? So yeah, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> right. Well, uh, go get a meat shield. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the Brit goes in first. Uh, yeah. Is this you guys actually playing? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. awesome! Yeah, yeah. That's really so, so like, he can legit send you in. Then yeah. he dies permadeath. You live and you keep all your stuff. Ah, uh, we yeah. have a reviving mechanic, right? So we really want to keep uh, you playing together here. Okay. Gotcha. So, okay. but if you revive, they lose uh, a health chunk. Mm. 
Okay. And if you arrive again, you end the value and shit, basically. Okay. So here we, uh, so basically this game is a very social game. So what you don't hear in here is the commentary, right? Right. It's like me, me and him constantly chatting what we're hearing and stuff. And if he gets scared, I get scared and, and I get jumpy, right? That, that, <laughs> that's the yeah. part, right? And obviously the VoIP and stuff in game is going to be positional. It's 3D as well. So you can have nice. video. I love that. Yeah, yeah. I love great. that. So if you pay attention there, there's like a, there's a PVP battle going on beneath us because everybody is kind of going now to where the target Target location is. Mm -hmm. We oh, yeah, we have yeah, and we have nothing really to gain from going there, right? Like we can shoot them, but they don't have the bounty yet. Right. So we're gonna go in first. Yeah, what you're actually gonna see for the uh, next two kind of shots here is uh, two of our special AI. The first one we're gonna see just coming up here will be uh, the hive. These, by the way, are dogs. If you go close to them, they're gonna start barking. Other players are gonna hear you. They're sure. gonna attract AI other to players. You. Like the map should speak to you, yeah. right? Right. The map, and I can play chess kind of. Where are the other guys? Where should I go? No, and that's that's just oh, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> She just wants to give you a big nasty hug. Nope. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I saw in the uh, opening five she's minutes. She's full of bugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's a long range enemy with like swarm bursting out of her chest. Oh my god, <laughs> you're yeah. terrible people. And this is classic like you're bleeding, you need bandages, all that stuff, right? Yeah, that's uh, something I was going to ask you about the healing items. Like, you probably like they take time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. you're basically defining your classes yourself. Here comes another bad boy. He's called a meat head because he doesn't have any head. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's using basically leeches on the ground as a way of seeing yeah. and hearing and understanding what's going yeah. on. So we went too close to them, they got triggered, and he's now... Okay. Uh, yeah, so our game starts really stealthy because you don't want to be known, your position. Right. But sometimes you just have to bomb your way through, right? Well, yeah, I mean, if that guy sees you, it's... Yeah, this is like hot spots of actions. Yeah. The lighting is outstanding in this game. Uh, it's, it's all about the mystery and the darkness and the unknown. Yeah. And obviously... Now, sorry. this is... This, oh, sorry. So here we, are, here we are. This is the boss fight. Okay. Uh, it's a uh, human mixed with a spider. He climbs on walls and roofs. Uh, you need to be sure to be fast here, because there could be another team coming and fighting him at the same time, right? Oh, that's not good. No. Yeah. So it, and our game is very dynamic. It's like, if you and me were playing it, right, and we hear these guys playing it, we might as well just wait for them to do it, and then we go in for the kill in the end, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, you let them take take the brunt. Yeah. It's, it's a perfectly legitimate strategy yeah. for Ooh. players to go in and try yeah. to hunt another team. This point, I'm being jump uh, yeah, they, he just jump attacks and everything, right? Uh. As you see, you see him one time, then he's gone the other. Yeah. He is, that is a super quick spider. Yeah. So uh, at this point now, we have killed him in order to get the bounty. We need to banish him to hell. Now I understand kind of like I'm getting more and more like you guys are bounty hunters. You want to yep, banish these absolutely. guys and you get paid. Exactly that. And when we do, there's a burning spot on the map on the like Every player in the whole map now sees where this is. This is why it's called Hunt Showdown. Bam, right? Everybody going to go there. Ah. Everybody going to duke it out. Dude, yeah. that's, 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 that's like wild. actually really cool. So the, the other interesting thing about that is it's like I mentioned before, is it's a legitimate strategy for other players to just ignore the clues, ignore the target, and hunt the other teams who are hunting the target. Yeah. You yeah. can stalk another series of yeah. hunters going out there. As you see in the left corner up there, there's like a little timer ticking, so everybody kind of have time to get there. Oh, okay. Uh, here I'm being, uh, I'm being, being uh, badly. slapped. <laughs> right? uh, 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 so, so here's where we have like the revive mechanic, right? Like okay. uh, I died. He can revive me, but I lose a health, uh, I lose a health chunk, right? Right. Okay. So basically, for us, since we got there first, this is a defensive mission at this point, right? Yeah. And all the threats we had coming in are now perfect for us because we will hear dogs barking if the players come into close to them. So we can all again like listening to the environment and use it to your advantage, right? That's that's actually something I, I wanted to touch on as far as the sound design goes, like. Mm. I love it when you when you actually have to use your yeah. ears as a part of the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. So we call like reckless players or dead players, man. Yeah. Now uh, this is towards yep. this is towards the end. So we have the bounty. We try to shoot ourselves out uh, uh, of this compound. No, that's what I'm saying. Like when you get the bounty, are you do they if they kill you? Do you, they get? They get it. it. Yeah, sure. yeah. Oh, okay. And again, you have that dark vision, so I can locate that bounty, right? Um, what you're about to see here, by the way, uh, in just one second, he's going to throw what we call the concertina bomb. So this is a basically an area denial. It's like a barbed wire gadget bomb. That you have, right? Uh, it kind of denies you oh. from going across the bridge, and it can yeah. fill up rooms and other yeah. stuff like that. And then our goal is to get to the exit point, and then you're going to get cash, unlocks, and everything like this. Yeah. Now, if so now, if somebody's scared of uh, uh, if somebody's scared of uh, permadeath, the whole thing with our game is like, yeah, you die, but everything you unlock saves in the bloodline. Okay. And when you recruit a new hunter, you can put new stuff on him again. Yeah. That so, will carry over. So you constantly progress, right? Wow. I, this game is uh, honestly, it's so much better than I gave it credit for when I saw the trailer, man. Okay. 